So a while back I made a video on 5 things that Rockstar removed from GTA 5 Online that everybody loved. And I was right, everybody was commenting, we all love this kind of stuff, it sucks that they removed it. So today we're going to be talking about a few of those things that they should add back, and I kind of have some ideas on how they could add them back. Because obviously if they added them back the way they were back then, it wouldn't really be as much fun in the present day of GTA Online, if you get what I mean. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing is going to be North Yankton. Now this wasn't online, but it was illegitimate. By doing a few simple steps, you'd be able to glitch the map into online and fly over to it. It's kind of funny though. It's actually right in the exact same location as the Cayo Perico Island, like literally directly above it, which is cool. I guess when Rockstar decides to add any kind of map additions to the game where we actually have to fly over to them and there's a cutscene and everything like that, they're going to make it in this general area, I guess. Unless it's actually going to be in free mode, then they're going to pick a different location. But I don't know, the two maps that they have that aren't the main city are located in the exact same spot. Now, how they could actually make North Yankton implemented into GTA 5, they should add it and expand it and enhance as a place where we could travel via air transport or we take a plane through a cutscene, just like in story mode, where we fly over there and, you know, it just takes us through a cutscene. Or they could just add the thing at the airport where we walk up to it and say we want to fly over there and then we just spawn in over there pretty simple or we could just take a plane and fly in that general direction just like in the actual Cal Perico heist where you fly over there screen goes black and then boom you're there there is a ton of opportunity in North Yankton for them to add tons and tons of cool content it would really be a lot of fun and of course to reduce lag they would despawn the actual city of Los Santos and spawn in North Yankton just like they do when we go to the Cal Perico Island it literally despawns the entire main island because if you had both of them in, it would definitely lag a lot. But it would be a great idea for Rockstar to implement it into the game somehow because I think it would be a ton of fun and like I said, there's a ton of opportunity there for a bunch of new content that I'm sure a lot of us would enjoy. Next up is ground fireworks. It was such a cool feature that I never got the chance to experience. Yeah, the firework launcher is decent, but it doesn't compare to the ground fireworks that were in GTA 5 Online. In the RP server that I play on, they have ground fireworks, and some of them are simple where they just shoot one firework off, and then some of the other ones are really insane, like you're about to see here. And you can actually get a bunch of people together, light them all off at the same time, and have this humongous fireworks show, and it's pretty insane. If you guys can see on screen, those are just the fireworks that I placed down. If you get five people together and they all place some fireworks on the ground, it will be insane. Like the fireworks show that would go off would just blow you away. It's actually really, really cool. And ground fireworks are awesome. If you want to get them in Grand RP, you literally just go to a store and just buy whichever ones you want, which is awesome. It's such a simple thing that was in GTA 5 and I have no idea why it was removed because they were so much fun. You could literally just go into your inventory, take one, and place it right onto the ground. By the way, Grand RP is actually sponsoring this video, so take a look at this quick promo. I guarantee you guys are gonna wanna join this server after watching it. There's a ton of other cool stuff that I didn't even show in this promo because honestly, there's just too much stuff to showcase. Have you been getting bored of GTA 5 recently? Why don't you come to a city with limitless possibilities? Welcome to the world of Grand RP where you could join cool organizations like the Los Santos Police Department. You could also join the government, or if you wanted to, join the FIB. You can also purchase over 300 insane vehicles, upgrade them, and some of them can even reach speeds well over 400 kilometers per hour. You can also rent tons of awesome vehicles if you can't afford to purchase them. Every day the server does promotions where you can earn grand coins or cash, and with grand coins you can use them to open containers and win some insane prizes like cars, clothes, and tons of money. It only takes a minute to start playing. Just click the link down below in the description and follow the instructions and you're good to go. I'm telling you right now, you will become addicted to this game and you won't want to stop playing. So stop on by and play GTA 5 in a way you've never experienced before. Next up is going to be crate drops and armored trucks. They were a really, really cool feature that everybody absolutely loved. And then one day, they just disappeared. And it absolutely sucked. I have no idea why they went away, but one day I just came into online and I was like, hey, I haven't done a crate drop or stolen money from an armored truck in a while. Anyways, the crates were a pretty cool feature where it was like a small event that would happen and you'd have to collect a crate that dropped a bunch of cool items like beer hats, a minigun, you can get some RP, I think you can get some cash, and a bunch of other cool stuff. You'd have to kill the enemies around the area and then collect it afterwards, and you'd also have to fight off any of the enemy players that were near you. It was a really cool thing. There were also armored trucks that would pop up on the map, and if you blew open the back doors, they would drop cash and you could steal it. 
Both of these events were awesome, and they should be implemented back into the game pretty much like this. First, let's talk about the crates. Now, I have a really great idea on how these could be implemented into the game. So obviously, if they were to add them back, they would have to have a ton of cool items. And maybe some of the items that were actually in them before could be brought back, like the beer hats and some of those cool t-shirts, because obviously you can't really get those anymore. But some of the other items with like a tiny bit of RP, maybe a little money and like a minigun really won't be as useful anymore because, you know, we're all really high levels now in GTA 5, or at least most people are, and getting a minigun wouldn't really do much for us. So they would obviously have to add a bunch of other really cool items into them that would make more sense to have in the present day of GTA Online. Plus, they would also be considered as a special crate. As you guys know, in the crate warehouse we have in GTA 5, you can actually get these special crates worth tens of thousands of dollars. So imagine you go to a crate drop here and you see that, oh wow, it's the golden egg, which sells for over $100,000 in your crate warehouse. That would be pretty cool. I guarantee a ton of people would try to get these crates because, you know, it's $100,000 that you could possibly get completely free and all you have to do is collect this crate. Plus, as a bonus, you get all these other really cool items as well. And maybe, who knows, you might even get a railgun in this crate for the time being. I don't really know, but it would be really, really cool. Now let's talk about the armored trucks. Now they could either be the exact same thing, but with more money, which would obviously make a ton of sense, or they could also make it a little different, where they could have like a police escort. It would make it a lot more challenging because, you know, if there's an armored truck just driving down the street, I would assume they would have a police escort, especially in GTA 5 Online with all the crazy shit that goes on. So it would make a lot of sense for them to have a police escort or maybe the military with them. So if we do try to attack, you know, they could defend themselves a little bit, but we'd probably still end up robbing them. Or it could be implemented like a mini heist. Just like a free mode event that pops up, you have a couple minutes to get prepared. So who knows, maybe it would be added like that. And then it would say you have like five minutes to get to this location. This is the general area where the truck would spawn. And then once it spawns, you could see what route it's gonna drive down. And you and your friends could go and set up somewhere. And then once you see the truck and its convoy, you could just open fire at it and then take all of the money. It would be a really cool little thing that they could add in GTA 5, especially if you like doing all of the crime stuff that's in the game, it will be a ton of fun if they added it like this. Here's another idea for actually both of them. So the armor truck and the crates will contain something for your businesses in GTA 5 Online. It could either contain something for your hangar, for your cargo warehouse, for your MC business, and vehicle cargo. For your hangar, it would contain like jewelry and gemstones or something like that. For your MC business, it could contain some cocaine or some other kind of drugs. And for your cargo warehouse, well, it would just contain some crates, maybe even a special crate, which would be really, really cool. And for vehicle cargo, obviously they won't be able to pop a vehicle in there, but maybe it shows a map where the location of a vehicle is. It wouldn't be hard at all. You would just drive over to the location, grab the vehicle, bring it back to your warehouse. No NPCs trying to kill you or anything like that because then it would just be a simple sourcing mission and then you bring it back to your warehouse, and who knows, maybe they would make vehicle cargo a little better where you can actually get a vehicle that is worth a lot more, even more than the high-end vehicles, like some super rare car. I think that would be pretty cool if they added it into the game like that. Another option is for them to add special weapons. Like I said earlier, the railgun. You could add that with 20 ammo, much like the minigun you can get back in the crates. You wouldn't be able to keep it for the duration of the session. You can pretty much keep it until you die or you run out of ammo which is the exact same thing that happened back in the day. You can get that minigun, but once you're dead, you don't get to keep it anymore. It would make it a ton of fun, plus we would get this really cool special weapon that we could use until we die, pretty much. And it would be a lot of fun if we had that. So obviously, if they were to add the crates and the armored trucks back, there was a ton of opportunity there for some awesome content. I really don't know why they were ever removed. They were a ton of fun, and they could really implement them back, and players would absolutely love them. I also have some other ideas for some things that were removed back in the day that could be implemented back into GTA 5 Online in a better way that a lot of people would enjoy. So if you guys want to see that video, be sure to drop a like on this one. If this one hits 500 likes, I'll make a part two of it. Let me know what you guys think of everything I said in this video, if you agree or disagree, and if you would enjoy having any of these cool features added back into the game implemented the same way that I was just saying. Let me know down below in the comment section. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out Grand RP. The link is down below in the description, and I will catch you guys in the next video.